time right now, about 1220. I'm meteorologist Allison Krogan. I'm tracking a warm up, which I know a lot of you are very excited for. Now, looking at our air quality, we do have a couple of locations across the Salt Lake Valley showing up as moderate air with our data from purple air over towards the benches and down into Midvale, down towards South Jordan, where it's a bit better. But many locations across northern Utah have good to moderate air. Now, here's what it looks like from our inner mountain cam. So an absolutely beautiful day here in the Salt Lake Valley. Valley. Tons of sunshine and temperatures that are already close to about 50 degrees. Calm winds, that means that it still feels like it's in the upper 40s. Full visibility, which I love. And across the state, a lot of us have temperatures close to 50 right now, but still a couple of areas a little bit cooler like Vernal and Logan, where it's right around freezing for what it feels like. Upper 30s for Price and Moab and currently about 50 in St. George. Compared to this time 24 hours ago, very happy to see these temps are a little bit warmer. So we were expecting this warm up and we will continue to warm up over the next couple of days. So it's just going to keep on getting better as we get closer to the weekend, but then things will be changing towards the middle of the weekend. Your top headlines for today, dry and warm through Saturday and then breezy on Saturday ahead of some chances for rain that could actually arrive as early as Saturday evening, but mostly the next storms will be Sunday and Tuesday with a little bit of overlap into the days uh, right surrounding that. And over the next couple of days, we'll have our temperatures climbing tomorrow, mid 50s, upper 50s by Saturday. So it's above average here the next few days, 48 a typical high and 29 a normal low. So for today and tonight, we're very close to average. For this afternoon, We'll have those temperatures around 50 degrees for a lot of the state, mid 50s for Cedar City, 53 in Milford, 66 in St. George, over across eastern Utah, Vernal, low 40s, Price 46, and Moab also around 50. This is kind of that time of year where it's like ideal to get to the national parks because they're not quite as crowded, but hiking in 50s is very comfortable if you're bundling up for the early morning hours. Uh, tomorrow morning, speaking of bundling up, you'll want to bundle up tomorrow morning. Mid-20s for Provo, 29 in Ogden, 20 in Logan, 16 for Park City, Salt Lake around freezing, and for St. George in the 30s tomorrow morning, but tracking some changes to arrive second half of the weekend. So starting late Saturday, so Saturday night, we'll have some valley rain, some mountain snow. We will cool down, potentially see some valley snowfall out of this. And then across eastern Utah, we'll see some of those showers into early Monday, but then Monday's mostly going to be a break ahead of our next storm that'll trail on Tuesday. Now for southern Utah, you're close to 70 through Saturday, and then by Sunday, you cool down into the 50s for highs through the rest of the seven day forecast and for Salt Lake City 55 heading into Friday 57 on Saturday and then you really cool down into early next week for Sunday and Monday it's going to be about 40 degrees overnight temperatures will be around 25 degrees for a lot of that next week forecast and then we'll be into the mid 30s for our overnight temperatures this weekend because of the extra cloud cover that we're going to have. So a little bit of wind on Saturday and then changes with the chances for rain and snow second half of the weekend.